Okay, this tutorial is going to help you in the notation assignment number two, where you are writing or labeling notes using register numbers. I've printed out this section from the module that shows this exact diagram. And so when you go to the notation assignment number two, it says label the following notes in treble clef with their correct register number. Notice it says in treble clef, so you got to draw the clef. I'm going to draw one right here. There we go. That one already given to you, C5. How do you know that's C5? Well, there it is. It's in the third space in treble clef. Always look to the left in this diagram to make sure you're in treble clef or bass clef. So this next one, I'll just do the next two to help you get started. This one is in treble clef and it's in the second space. So I go to treble clef, I go to the second space. What is that? Well, that's A4. So I'm going to write A4. Remember, all notes get uppercase letters. This one is also in treble clef. It's in the top space or fourth space. That's going to be my E5. Okay, so I just find it on the diagram and I write it in. This one, you're going to do treble clef again. This time you're going to draw the notes. So you find them here in treble clef. Draw them in. Don't forget to put your clef. Then for three and four, you're going to do a similar thing, but in bass clef. So let's say I'm going to number four now. And it says draw the notes below in bass clef. So I'm going to draw my bass clef. And they want C3. So now I'm looking at the bass clef section. So if I go over to where it says C3, I will see that it's in the second space in the bass clef. So I'm going to draw that note right here. And you can do it hollow or filled in like there. That's fine. Okay, let's do another one, A2. So again, it's in bass clef. So I'm looking for A2. There it is right there. And it's in the first space in bass clef. Okay, now I've found that most people, when they get confused, is it has to do with this grand staff. So remember, grand staff means, first of all, this is the grand staff. So we're doing treble clef, bass clef in the bottom, and we should be connecting it with the straight line. They should also have a, a brace right here. I could not find one that had the brace to demonstrate these when I was putting the module together, but technically it should have that curved line there as well. Okay, so you're gonna draw that first. Now, again, you just look to this diagram and you look for D4. Okay, well, where is D4? Is it in the bass clef? No, these are all twos and threes. It must be in the treble clef. Here is D4 right there. So it is the one that's just below the first line in the treble clef. So that's my D4. Then it says E3. Okay, so I just saw it right here. Here's E3. So that's bass clef, and it's in the third space. So that's all you're doing, just getting familiar with where these notes lie in their register number on the grand staff, whether it's in bass clef or in treble clef. All right, I hope that's helpful.